Okay, so we finally made it through all of the different rock types. Now we're, we're going to start delving into the hazards. And so our first hazard that we're going to look at is volcanoes. We are going to spend two modules talking about volcanoes, mostly because we need a little bit of general volcano knowledge. And that's kind of what this module is about. We want to understand a little bit about the different types of volcanoes, why they look the way they do, where do they show up on our planet. And we kind of like to relate that back to our plate tectonics knowledge that we have. So what you're going to do this week is focus mostly on that. Now there's going to be some information certainly about why volcanoes erupt, like what's driving that eruption that we see. But one of the things we'll come to find out is that the composition of the molten rock is really a huge driver into what type of volcano we get. So we classify it based on composition because they look different and they erupt differently. And so what you'll learn through this kind of PowerPoint here and, and there is also some textbook stuff I want you to look at. So that's right here. And so basically when we talked about igneous rocks briefly in the past we did introduce the term mafic felsic and intermediate the big thing to pull from that is that silica content which is silicon and oxygen bonded together the amount of that material in the molten rock is really going to dictate how it behaves so if you have a lot of silica it tends to be thick and gooey. We use the term viscous, so it has a high viscosity. If you have a lot of silica, so high silica, high viscosity. If you have low silica, you have a low viscosity, which means it's more fluid and runny. So think of the Hawaiian Islands, right? When those erupt, those flow pretty fast and far. They don't really blast. That's not their type of eruption. They're just ejecting material and it flows because it's fluid. This is related to its composition and the shape of the volcano that forms is different than one that is thick and gooey. That's kind of the, the main kind of idea that we want you to get out of this module here. So that information of course is in this PowerPoint along with the video. And then in addition, I would like you to look at the textbook there and read through. It's just a few little, it's four, five, one, and four, five, two. In addition, I threw in a couple just uh, short little videos I grabbed from YouTube. And in this case, this one is showing a specific type of volcano that will be introduced in the lecture. Mount St. Helens, which was a, you know an, an eruption that happened in 1980. And so it's fairly recent and it happened here in the U.S. So... That's a good one. And then uh, a, a caldera, what a caldera might look like. So these are just visual representations of three different types of volcanoes, cinder cones, stratovolcanoes, and calderas. So hopefully that'll help you kind of visualize those things. For the article, I'm going to have you read um, about what's called the VEI, which is the Volcanic Explosivity Index. This is just a way to measure kind of the how explosive a volcano is right we have a scale for earthquakes we do have a scale for volcanoes and it's really related to how much material is thrown up into the atmosphere so it's related to the violence right how violent and how explosive it is and so you can read through that and then it'll give you an idea of how we calculate a value for an eruption that may have occurred for the video so remember, we've this semester we decided there's no time limit on any of the videos. So you can take your time as you go through it. You can, you know, answer the questions as you go. But for this one, there's a, the video here. You don't need to watch the entire video. You certainly can. But it's talking about the ring of fire. And for the first 20 minutes, it, it does focus on volcano stuff, which I think is relevant. After that, it kind of shifts to earthquakes. So the quiz or the, the questions that you're trying to find the answers to are in the first 20 minutes. So you can go ahead and just do that if that works for you. But that's what you're going to do here. It's just going to talk about this area of the planet related to plate tectonics of a highly active volcanic area, right? So it's called the Ring of Fire. So you can go ahead and look at that. For the homework, I'm going to have you go to a website so when you click the link it's just going to take you here 
So I'm going to ask you to go to this uh, volcan vol <laughs> I can't speak this global volcanism program and find some volcanoes and give me some information. We want to know, you know, where it's located. What type of volcano is it? You just learned that in the in the previous, you know, lecture content. What rock types are there? What's the plate te tectonic setting, right? These are things that are all related and important. When you click this Smithsonian link, you should come to here. And here it has active volcanoes. And so you can choose any of these that you would like because these are all considered active, they're erupting. And so if you pick one, it'll load and give you some additional information. And so the things that I'm asking for in the homework are these things right here. Where do you find them? Well, once you click your volcano, the general information tab and the eruptive history tab are the two tabs that will have all the information you need. The others you can you know go through if you'd like, but you can find all the answers in those two tabs, right? General information and eruptive history. And so you just have to do that for three of them and you can pick any three you want. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and submit that. Okay. And then the final thing you have is a lab, which is going to focus once again on the general features of volcanoes in the next module. We'll talk more about the hazards. We'll kind of list each hazard. We'll kind of get into detail about them here. We're just talking about the main types of volcanoes. So the first page here is just a review of those, which hopefully you have gone through in the lecture portion and it makes sense. And then there's this kind of summary chart that gives us a lot of information about the different types of, you know, molten material that can make it to the surface and some of the properties associated with those. You're going to use this in the lab. So I think it's linked in there. So no worries. You can go ahead and do that. And then, of course, once you get to the lab itself, we'll take a quick preview. So here, once again, there's a tutorial here that's going to tell you what to do in this lab. But, you know, some of it is just answering questions from this little volcano review. But as we go down a little further, it's basically we're, we're trying to get you to see that you can use the profile, a topographic profile, a side view if you want. The shape and size of volcanoes is indicative of the type. Big ones, small ones, big craters, small craters. And so in Google Earth, you can create a topographic profile like this. And so it goes through, if you read carefully, how to create one. And then I'm asking you to go to certain locations and pick which profile is correct. So you go to that location, you draw it. Whichever one matches, that's the answer. But once again, this is in the instructions here. So please watch the video for the lab and it'll talk you through everything you need to do to create the profiles because 40 percent 40 percent i mean 40 uh i can't speak 40 points that's what i'm saying is coming from the lab answering the questions and 10 points is coming from you sending me the profiles that you made so as you go through the lab it'll say make this profile and save it make this profile and save it you should have four and when you're done i want you to upload those four images to me and that'll be part of your grade it's talked here so hopefully that's good all right this is way longer than i thought but anyway here we go so this is what we're doing this week we're learning about volcanoes different types why they erupt and then next week we'll get into the hazards all right as always if you run into any issues please don't hesitate to contact me